Hello, my name is Jerry Almodar, Superintendent of Santa Ana Unified School District, and I want to take an opportunity to update the community about uh, the recent events that have been taking, here, taking place here in Santa Ana Unified. Um, for weeks now, the district has been monitoring the outbreak of the coronavirus along with our uh, health department and the California Department of Ed and have recently made the decision to close all of our schools in order to protect our community, our students, our families, and our staff uh, from this outbreak. On Friday, March 13th, we made the decision to close all of our schools down for approximately four weeks. Uh, one of those weeks including spring break. Um, what we're doing as a result of that is we're asking students to stay home and in the safe environment of their house. We're also asking the staff to help out by reporting to work um, as we prepare the curriculum packets and able to get them out to the families in a timely manner. Principals will be contacting their uh, students and their families. They will be setting up timelines that will allow families to come and pick them up and um, we are also in the process of uh, providing meals for those families that uh, need those meals for their students. So as uh, this week unravels, we're in the process of reevaluating the staffing levels that we have here at the district office because we are also concerned for staff safety um, and working with our teachers in order to provide uh, training and support for remote learning that will take place. In addition, we're uh, in the process of evaluating the classified staff and also identifying essential staff members to keep the uh, district operations running um, appropriately. So more information will be coming out weekly. Hi, uh, I'm Dr. Rodriguez, board president for the Santa Ana Unified School District. And on Friday, March 13th, as Superintendent Almendares mentioned, the board took the unprecedented decision to close our schools from March 13th all the way to uh, April 13th, Monday, April 13th, when students are expected to come back uh, to classes. I want to assure our community that the board uh, took this decision knowing that we also had to address some key issues that our families are gonna face when the schools are closed. Uh, namely, we have been focusing on two areas that are of immediate and urgent need. Uh, one of them has to do with making sure that our families and our children in particular have access to food. And the other is to make sure that we continue with instruction. Let me say a little bit about uh, the food and my uh, fellow board member will talk more about the instruction. Uh, with respect to food, I, uh, we have uh, opened up sites 13 schools in particular uh, where you can bring your child and obtain food. We are using a grab-and-go uh, approach, meaning you come in, bring your child, and each child will have a kind of box or a bag of food that they can take home. We are constantly assessing this method so that if in the future uh, it's too difficult, we might need to change that policy. Uh, the food is available from 8 to 10 uh, every morning, and again, we are constantly monitoring uh, this approach. Also, uh, if you would like to know where the sites are located, uh, we have been making all this information available via our website, www.sausd.us, www.sausd.us. And if you'd like to call us, we are at 714-558-5501. Hi, I'm Valerie Mesqua, Vice President of Santa Ana Unified School Board. And as my colleague, Dr. Rodriguez, had indicated and our superintendent, Mr. Almanderas, that these are unprecedented times and we all need to work together and stay strong as a community. And I know the instruction, we all know the instruction of our students is very important to each and every one of you as it is to all of us. So instruction packets have been offered at each site and they may be picked up or you can access them online. As Dr. Rodriguez had indicated, you're always welcome to go to www.sausd.us for additional information. However, please go to your school site. Their website will have information available to you where you can pick up that information or you can log on to Google Docs 
please take a look at Google Docs at each site. Teachers may have uploaded information there for instruction. If not, as I stated, please go to your school site and they will have information. Earlier on social media, a teacher had posted her lesson plans and it was great to see her commitment and the commitment of all of our classified and certificated staff that are working in these very hard times um, to present academic services to our students. Just be mindful, please, that our teachers and our classified also have families. And so when you report to grab and go, pick up food, or you report to pick up some instructional material, please thank them. And also, we want to make sure their families are well and that they also are well. So we definitely want to thank them for all the great work that they're doing. So as you know, many people have been quarantined to their home. And when you talk about quarantine, I'd like Dr. Rodriguez to explain in Spanish what it means. Because when we say it in English, we know that that means we stay home. That doesn't mean we have play dates. That doesn't mean that we go hang out at the mall with our friends. That means that we stay home and we keep each other well. We keep our neighbors and friends well. Dr. Rodriguez, you want to talk about quarantine? Bueno, eh, quizás ya escucharon ustedes la palabra cuarentena. Uh, y esa es una palabra que hay que definir muy claramente. Uh, en español usualmente usamos la palabra cuarentena para referir a cuando una mujer da luz y está aislada uh, para protegerse y al bebé por 40 días. En este caso estamos usando la palabra cuarentena de una manera muy parecida en el sentido de que queremos que ustedes como familias uh, traten de mantenerse dentro de su hogar y tratar de disminuir la cantidad de interacción o contacto social con otras familias. Uh, aunque estamos cerrando las escuelas, uh, queremos también disminuir la posibilidad y la propagación del coronavirus. Entonces, uh, por eso les pedimos que estando en su hogar traten de disminuir ese contacto social. Si van a salir, uh, traten siempre de uh, asegurarse uh, de que cuando regresen uh, se laven las manos uh, y practiquen otras, otros métodos para tratar de evitar que este virus uh, se siga propagando. Thank you, Dr. Rodriguez, for that information because as I had indicated, when you say quarantine in Spanish, we know it has a different meaning for some of us. So again, please be mindful. Do not gather with your family, friends, more than 10 people at any time as of today, and things are very fluid and they're changing minute by minute. So I'd like to now turn it back to the superintendent and he's gonna talk about how we're assessing this every day, how this may affect graduation and, and reporting to work and things like that. Mr. Amandari? Thank you, uh, and we, we just want you to know that we are very mindful of the anxiety and the stress, not only of the community, but of, but of our staff. And it is our goal to make sure that all uh, members of this community are safe. That includes our teachers and our classified employees. Uh, we are asking them to report to work to, uh, for a few days to work on developing the curriculum, making sure that uh, they're trained in the capacity that they uh, need to be in order to provide distant learning opportunities for our students, as well as our classified employees. It's gonna take some time to uh, reassess the essential employees and, and identify the areas of the district that additional personnel are, are gonna be needed. So please bear with us. We are sensitive and we do uh, want to uh, make sure that everybody is working in a safe environment. It will take a few time, like Ms. Mesco was, was uh, talking about, the information that we receive almost changes minute by minute. So we thank you for your understanding. We will be monitoring and assessing on a daily basis Please check our website for updates and our social media feeds. Some things that I want you to consider at this point in time that we're thinking of uh, possibly postponing are large events like graduation, um, uh, end of the year activities. So um, no decision has been made on that. We are anticipating uh, some more information as the weeks uh, come out, but please bear with us. Uh, and I want to thank all of the staff, the students, the, the parents, the community members that have come out to support uh, our school sites. And I want to thank those principals for, for spending the time making sure that those efforts uh, were coordinated. So I also want to thank our classified staff. Uh, for example, the people that are serving the food uh, to our children day in, day out. I also want to thank our teachers and administrators who are committed to both the well-being of our students and our children 
but also are committed to the broader public health uh, issue that we're all facing. Uh, this is why uh, we as a board and the superintendent and the cabinet are going to be constantly monitoring the situation and please, please be on the alert for more information as this unfolds. As Dr. Rodriguez had indicated and our superintendent, please check the website again, www.sausd.us. Also, please go to the Orange County Healthcare Agency for updated information for those of you that have the ability to go online and do that. And again, as Santa Ana Unified School District, we want to thank you, each and every one of you, for your commitment to work with us during these difficult times.